50, you always have to give teachers a bad time. It's part of the rules of the game. And when there's a new teacher, you can be even tougher. In our class, we've seen our three tutors in as many weeks. <laughs> God, Miss Bell had a breakdown. She was pregnant. Then we had a supply teacher who was always crying. <sighs> deaf old Mr. Wilcox. He was deaf as a post. You could say anything to him. It was such a laugh. And now they sent us a new teacher. A brand new, sparkling clean, not even out of the box teacher. <sighs> They've got two more terms. Send them the new bloke. Nixon. If they eat him alive, burn him alive, we can forget about him. What have you been up to, Rosie? You know what I came here at ten to four? Chuffing cheek. Friday and all. I'm a bleeding birthday. Cheek it gets. Cheryl, can you fit me in? I can't, I'm afraid, lad. I'm chock a block two seven. Well, I told her to book. <laughs> We're going out the cell. Do you reckon now I can see no? Gambling? Well, bloody hell. Oh, I just have to be late. I nip over the barbers. She might be able to fit me in. See you down here later, Maureen. All right, love. All right, love. To ra, ra, everyone. She's a dizzy sod, that <laughs> Rosie. How much longer, Cheryl? Bloody hell, your hair's on fire, <gasps> Cheryl! <gasps> Bloody hell, we should get it cut. I call this uncalled for and officious, Inspector. I've half a mind to report you, and it doesn't seem to me the tiniest bit very important. And now you're dragging my daughter, Sheila, into this unpleasant business. I'm a police inspector, Mr. Bullock. I came here this afternoon because a young woman drank a lot of strong disinfectant and died after several hours of agony in the infirmary. You don't tell me. That's because I discharged her from my employment nearly two years ago. What's your name? Michael Johnson. But everyone calls me Mickey. What's yours? Edward Lyons. Do they call you Eddie? <laughs> no. Well, I will. Will you? How old are you, Eddie? I'm seven. I'm older than you. I'm nearly eight. Well, I'm nearly eight as well. When's your birthday? April 14th. So is mine. Really? Do you know what that means? We can be blood brothers. Do you want to be my blood brother, Eddie? Oh, yes, please. It hurts you, man. Now give us yours. See? This means that we're blood brothers. So, where is your record? I knew you were interested. I'm just making conversation. Shit. You're like the invisible man. Completely transparent. He wasn't transparent. Of course he was. He was invisible. That's not the same as transparent. The invisible man was invisible. You could see straight through him. Clean film is transparent. So, the invisible man wasn't made of clean film. It's, it's... Forest fire! Water! 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 What do you mean water? Our control in case you haven't noticed. Stamp it out! Stamp it out! Forest fire! If you listen to me, you would have been in this mess, would you? Forest fire! Don't just stand there and stamp, piggy. Don't just stand in great fat wet week on stamp, stamp, piggy. Why should I? It's you who goes out in the middle of a meeting does seem stupid. Why should I stamp when I can't even see my glasses? It's stopping, come on, stamp, stamp! Oh. Oh, we did it. That girl I saw you with. Linda, yeah. Is she, um, is she your girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, um, we've been going out for ages now. And do you know, what? You know, kissing that. Oh, yeah, all the time. See, me and Linda, we're, we're in love. <gasps> Are you? Have you got a girlfriend? Me? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> do you? Mm-hmm. Would you like to see a picture? What? Here. <laughs> oh, let's have a proper look. Her? Yes, her name is Yvette. Haven't I seen her on the telly? No, no, no. She does look like somebody from the television, though. Morning. 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 Simon Patterson? No running in the halls. Oh, morning, Ted. Morning, Roy. You call that a straight line, girl? No, Claire Dickinson. Neither do I. Morning, Mr. Bastard. Good morning. Are you chewing, girl? Spread it up. Run to our hair for a bing! And then that was the bell, Simon Patterson. The bell is the signal for me to move, and not for you!